Hi there, Kofi here. Thanks for joining me in the last video of the three part series where we deploy an Angular application and a Node.js application in a database and see how it all fits together on the new Dictal Ocean app platform. So in the previous two videos, we've deployed our Angular application and our Node.js Express application as a backend. In this video, we're gonna create our database attach it to it and see how all of it comes together. This is the live application as we saw in the previous episode. It's not working properly because we don't have a database attached to it. Let's create a database. To do that, we create a component and then a database. Now remember, this database is not for production use. If you want to use something for production, you want to select the existing database Manage database on Dictal Ocean. The name of the database is DB, we can leave it as so, and create an attach. So whilst this is creating and attaching, oh, it's pretty much even added already. Now, it's gonna build and deploy once again so that the whole thing is um, in sync. If we look at the code base index, over here we have the database URL. This is something we added previously to our sample block. So you can see from the environments we added, we have this and that. So this database URL, it's pointing to this environment variables from DictalOcean. This DB is available for your applications whenever you've attached a database. Now in this case, we're creating the database and we'll just wait for it to finish. With the deploy now successful, let's open the live application and see what we've got. We had refresh. Let's see what error we are getting. Good, so there we go. And we have our application running as expected. To verify some of the things, let's go back to the network tab and reset. Okay, so we can see there is an API call to the endpoint here and that is what we are seeing, this API post. And immediately the app application realizes there is a request hitting this endpoint. It will automatically forward it to this component, which is our backend. And we know the backend is running here and accepting API requests on this endpoint. So with our app deployed, we can see from the network tab that whenever an API call hits the forward slash API post, it's actually going to this side in our code. We've already set the, the HTTP routes to forward all forward slash API to this component. In this case, that's how we get our application working from end to end. So let's put it to the test. We can add a new post, my title, content here, and then the author is me, we submit. And by the way, this post is not being sent to the back end. It's just living on the front end. But the welcome is actually coming from the API endpoint. To verify that, we can come back to our application, inspect it through this. So copy, copy link address. Let's open and paste. So you can see that it's coming from the endpoint for real. So in this case, that's the entire process of deploying an Angular application front end, a Node.js Express application as a backend, and attaching a database to it. You can go through and see the health of your application using the overview tab. You've got insights to get more details into each of your components, the deployments, the logs, and your console, then overall settings for your entire application. So that's it with the deploy an Angular Node.js 
Express application to the DigitalOcean platform. You can find a link to all the repositories used in this entire three-part series in the link in the description below. My name is Kofi. Thank you for joining me in this one. If you have any further questions, you can leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you for joining me in this three-part video series and I hope you have a fun experience swimming in the Digital Ocean app platform. Thank you and bye.